What's up everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick wear test on the Osiris D3s, but before I do, a little bit of info on them and how they're made. Uh, so the upper is made out of rubber, some nylon, plastic, and mesh. It has like everything besides like leather. Uh, the lining is actually made out of high durability material for the heel, which is nice because the heel always gets worn out pretty quick for some shoes. And then also has some mesh uh, along the sides for some uh, breathability, I'm just assuming. The construction was actually um, cemented, so what that is is where they glue the upper to midsole and the outsole as well, hence why there's some glue around those photos. So the insole, just made out of some cheap foam, um, nothing crazy about it. So I won't be jumping down anything because that insole looks like it sucks. Uh, the midsole is pretty thick foam, has some air units like some basketball shoes and some running shoes. And the outsole on the bottom, just some rubber. Um, what's crazy about these shoes is that there's actually, these are the most controversial ski shoe out there. There's a whole documentary on it um, that Biplan made, so I'll put that link in there so you guys can go directly to that and not have to search for it. But yeah, um, just let's get into it. So right off the bat, I was having a hard time adjusting to these. Um, I am currently skating some Nike Dunks, which these are pretty big shoes as is, but compared to the D3s, they are tiny. So getting used to these guys was like literally going from driving a Honda Civic to a tour bus, it felt like. So it took some time to get used to, but once I did, we were easy going with the rest of the kickflips. But jumping from the D3s to any other shoe is a big transition to get used to. After a few tries, I noticed that I was starting to tear up the laces already, so I decided to readjust the one on my flick foot, which is the right, because I'm goofy. Uh, so you can see they actually have some shields that kind of protect the laces, and then on the upper ones I kind of used through the eyelets where it has like kind of like a cat's tongue to help lock in your lace so it doesn't slide anywhere. From there we're cooking after that.
didn't really feel anything um, when I caught a couple primo or slipped out. Trying different tricks like a tray flip or anything like that was so difficult, but it's only my first day trying these guys and to be honest, I'm not going to keep skating them. I'm going to keep them though because I actually enjoy having them as I used to grow up wanting these shoes, which is crazy to think about because they are hideous. Um, other than that, hope you guys liked it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.